Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be a general reading, so it cannot or will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. I'm going to be pulling from this Oracle deck that I pretty much combined two Oracle decks here, the Energy Oracle cards and the Enchanted Map. So I'm going to pick out some cards from here and then clarify with the tarot or get more messages from the characters. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Capricorns? What messages do you have for Capricorn? Now these are general readings, so it could be love, could be relationships, could be uh, work or money. It's all what the cards or spirit wants to say today, so keep that in mind. Thanks again to everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented. I read all of your comments. I love hearing from you. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you for your support. All right, let's see. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? It's two weeks. Okay, we got stuck in the mud. I had somebody else get this. So there could be a situation where you feel a little bit, um, well, obviously stuck, but almost like you cannot move forward. There's no movement here, no progression. Oh my gosh. All right, fine. Commitment. Could be related to a relationship that you're in maybe you want commitment and it hasn't happened yet um this could also be well it's definitely a card about love so this is definitely about relationship here with commitment i feel like for a lot of you you've been wanting your relationship to progress towards commitment and it hasn't happened yet and maybe some of you are feeling a little bit stuck about whether you want to stay in this position in this relationship or not wizard of awareness interesting this is all about being aware of the circumstances that surround you seeing things for what they are hmm let me just check the book real quick i'm not going to read the whole thing but i just want to double check because sometimes there's more um more to these cards than meets the eye You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. Hmm. Let it be, watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. Interesting. So this is more about someone being an observer, not involving themselves, possibly in drama or just letting things happen as they're supposed to. See what the tarot has to say. Messages for my Capricorns. What's Capricorn need to know spirit? Last two weeks, February 2020, please. For Capricorn. Now, roles could be vice versa and time is fluid. So this could have already happened, be happening, or could happen in the near future. So just keep that in mind, guys. All right. What do you have for my Capricorns? Okay. Starting off strong with the Nine of Pentacles. This is all about independence, stability, being self-reliant. Some of you could be single. I have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could have been alone for a long time or could be recently single. Tell me more for Capricorn. What other messages do you have for my Capricorns? nine of swords okay another nine thank you ace of cups love it so there has been stress or worry here um for some of you i feel like a lot of you want love a lot of you want commitment i feel like you've been worried about this thinking about this a little too much okay thank you temperance sign of sagittarius all about patience, waiting. I feel like a lot of you have been single and focusing on yourself, um, getting yourself to, you know, some more secure, grounded uh, situations in your life. Maybe you've been working on, you know, your schoolwork or your job or something. 
Three of Cups. Okay, so there could be a reunion of some sort or a third party situation. We'll clarify all of these, see what they're all about. What else for my Capricorns? Spirit, what else do you have? Thank you. Okay, I have two here. Wow, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So some of you are definitely having an equal give and take here. I feel like someone's gonna take you out. This is what you want. I have this under the Ace of Cups here. I have Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles spirit. What, what's this Nine of Pentacles about for my Capricorns? The world. Okay, so definitely some of you are ending a cycle. I feel like for a lot of you, you won't be single much longer is kind of what I'm getting here. I have two nines. They're all about intensity. I have three nines, actually. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Definitely something new coming in for you or a new phase in your relationship if you're already in a relationship tell me more about this world this is about going through everything you need to go through to begin a new cycle a new chapter in your life so maybe you could be traveling as well or you could be meeting someone far away five of swords interesting i feel like you're leaving behind this energy of five of swords almost like you don't want things to be so difficult anymore you're not gonna give any more attention to, to situations that don't, almost like if you already know a situation's not gonna play out for you, you're not gonna spend any more energy on them is what I'm getting too. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. But some of you have been stressed or worried, anxious about something here. What's this about? Could be the current relationship you're in, being feeling stuck in a relationship, not getting the commitment that you've been wanting. Page of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like a lot of you have been worried that this isn't going to happen for you. Love. Commitment. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Almost like I, I just I just heard really click, clearly. Where are they? <laughs> okay. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this Ace of Cups energy is going to bring you out of this isolation this cold this feeling left out you guys have been i feel like for for whoever this is this is resonating for you guys have been alone for a while or single for a while or in a situation ship for a while something that never really felt like true love four of swords yeah i feel like you guys have been healing from something that didn't work out or just trying to center yourself, rebalance yourself. And I feel like because you've done this, there's this Ace of Cups here. Tell me about Temperance. I mean, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, and the world. Oh, I just dropped that. Interesting. Knight of Swords just came out. I feel like you've been waiting and waiting and then they're just going to come in. It's a message that's going to come in quick here. Six of Swords on the deck. Some of you could be traveling to see this person. You could be living at a distance from each other or this person has left a situation to come to you or vice versa is what I'm getting here. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Three of Cups could be a reunion, celebrating third party situation it's all about what cards are surrounding it what what the spread is saying oh thank you nine of wands interesting okay so i feel like there was a situation in your family friend group work group or just this a third party situation and you're exhausted you're tired This is the wounded warrior. He doesn't give up, but he's just been through it and he's on in protection mode, right? He has all of these wands built up around him so that nobody can get in. Ten of Pentacles, interesting. So this could be two two ways. It could be a situation with your family um, or a situation with someone that's married. That's why there's a third party situation here. 
Um, for others of you, you've been in this protection mode and someone's going to come in. There will be either a reunion or a happy hour or some sort of celebration and you meet this person and it's like you're going to have this ten of pentacles, like a lifelong partner. And I only say that because I have the ace of cups and the page of cups. Not to mention the nine of cups here at the end. Tell me about this. Oh. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, please. For Capricorn. Oh. Seven of Pentacles. Again, waiting. You've been waiting for this. You put an effort or just time into something. For a lot of you that are in a situationship, I feel like this person is going to get some sort of clarity with the hangman. And they're going to offer you commitment. Others of you, this is new love with the Ace of Cups here. It could be a reunion of some sort with someone from your past or someone new. And this is something you've been waiting for. This is your wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. This person is going to rebalance things. You're going to have an equal give and take in this partnership. Let me move these over so you can see. One more, please. Oh. Wow. Okay. There you are, Capricorn, with the Devil. And I have Four of Wands under the deck. I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to lead to marriage. Some of you are getting married. I feel like because you're here with the devil and the seven of pentacles, it's like you're the one waiting. That's what I'm getting here. You're the one waiting or someone that you're dealing with has Capricorn in their chart somewhere. But this is going to be your wish fulfillment. Um, they're going to make you very happy. And you're going to get the commitment that you've been seeking is what I'm getting here. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for checking out this video. If it resonated with you, please leave me a comment. Let me know what this is all about. Subscribe if you like what I do, and I'll see you guys in my next video.